Today on DSLR Video Skills, I'll show you how a follow focus can come in handy to get repeatable, sharp focus in your video shots. Adorama TV presents DSLR Video Skills with Rich Harrington, where you'll learn all about videography and photography. Hi, this is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and I'm walking you through today how to use the follow focus. Now, this is a common piece of equipment that a lot of folks use when shooting video on a DSLR or a digital cinema camera. And what it does is it allows you to better control focus. Now, normally on a camera like this, you have focus controls. And if you were to crank this ring, it's very susceptible to your movement. It's really easy to have the shot jump or feel really abrupt. And autofocus just doesn't work. So we're gonna actually walk through the steps needed to use one of these. A follow focus doesn't make it easier to focus, it just makes it more precise, and you're gonna to wanna to rehearse a bit. So what exactly is included with the follow focus? You know that the camera is attached to a set of rails, which makes it much easier to attach all the pieces of gear that we need. We've got the camera in a good position, and then I've attached the follow focus unit here. Now on the camera itself is a geared ring, and what's gonna really happen here is these two connect. Now the good news is, is that you could adjust this and by turning the tension knob here, it'll release this, and you can move this in and out until it makes a good connection with the gear there. What you wanna do is get that in there pretty nicely, good strong fit, and then tighten it down. All right, everything's connected, and a couple of straightforward things here. We have two pins to make it easier to know where the focus should stop, but I don't know where those points are yet, so I'm gonna to need to rehearse with my subject. Additionally, on the side here, we have a nice dry erase ring. And sometimes I want more than two marks. So the good news is, is with a dry erase marker, you could actually put a small tick mark to indicate where that focus is gonna fall. Hi, this is Rich Harrington. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest and your chance to win great prizes. Okay, I framed the initial shot, and what I'm gonna do now is go find some places to set marks. We're gonna have our subject walking through the scene. And as you shoot with a shallow depth of field, it's quite possible they're gonna fall out of focus. Unless, of course, you actually adjust the focus. And that's the whole purpose here. You'll also note I'm using a larger monitor to make it easier to see. We'll talk about monitors more on a future episode. Let's put some marks in place. To do this, I've got some cones, which is fine. You can use chalk or you can use available things that are in your scene. The key, obviously, is to make sure that what you mark out doesn't show up in the shot. I'm gonna walk through the scene now and figure out where I want our shopper to walk through and do her window shopping, and then we'll rehearse. All right, my cones are not in my shot, which is great. Now that I've placed them relatively equidistant, it's not important that you're critical, you just need something that you could see. Now, when I'm doing the follow focus, I'm gonna be on this side of the camera. Because I'm doing all of my own operation, it's important that I can easily see the controls and see the marks that I set on the ring. I've refined my focus, and I'm going to use the built-in pin here, as well as put a small little tick mark on the wheel. That lets me know my starting position. Can you go ahead and move to the second position by the dresses? There we go, I got it. Not much movement. Okay, go to the next position, please. Fortunately, these pins here are going to let me lock the spot. Now what's really important is that you tighten those down so that they don't slip. So now basically I have a very small turn as she moves through, but that's gonna help me keep focus. Action. Good. That take went okay. It's always a good idea to do a few tries. Whenever you're doing something like follow focus, it is a bit tricky, so make sure you get a couple of extra takes in the can. I'm also using the focus in red feature on the monitor to help me see the edges, and that's gonna make it a bit easier as I practice. Let's try that a couple times more. One other way that the follow focus works well is when you really compress the distance. So I have my subject close to the camera and the background far away. So now I could pull focus as I pan into her.
I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about how a follow focus works and what it's useful for. Remember, if you head on over to the Adorama Learning Center, there's tons of articles, including a bunch of videos that I've done, all about shooting video and professional productions. Remember, the follow focus, very useful item, but it really works hand in hand with a great monitor. Out here in this bright light, if I didn't have this monitor to see what I was doing, it'd be very difficult. So coming up in the future weeks, I'm gonna walk you through all the benefits of using a monitor like this, and you'll see how they come together. All right, you don't wanna miss any episodes of Adorama TV, so be sure to subscribe, it's absolutely free, whether you click inside of YouTube or you click the podcast. My name's Rich Harrington, thanks for joining me. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.